Nvidia just made a huge announcement and you guys are not going to believe what AMD is about to release. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by RGB Swap, a better alternative to eBay that I really think you should take a look at. RGB Swap is a marketplace exclusively for selling and buying computer parts that offers much lower fees than competitors such as eBay as well as greater protection against scams. Whether you're a buyer or a seller, you're guaranteed to be protected since all orders have to be paid for first and the funds are held for 48 hours after the buyer receives the item or they leave feedback, ensuring that you never get sold a bad item. Additionally, all disputes are manually reviewed and PayPal is used exclusively for an extra layer of security. I gotta tell you guys, I like this website a lot and I really want it to take off as a better alternative to eBay, so please, if you're interested in buying or selling PC parts online, click the link in the description below and give it a shot. I think you'll really like it. Alright, so first let's start off with that big announcement that Nvidia just made over on Twitter and it kinda sounds like this could be referencing several new GPUs that could be announced during their CES event and this is exactly what Nvidia had to say about it quote join us for a special broadcast event on tuesday january 4th at 8 a.m pacific standard time for some exciting news in the world of gaming now this post in and of itself doesn't really tell us a whole lot it doesn't give us a lot of specifics about what they are going to be announcing during their event but there's been a ton of leaks leading up to ces in terms of nvidia gpus that could be launching we could be seeing something like the rtx 3090 ti which i think is most likely we could be seeing the rtx 3080 12 gigabyte which has been leaked as well as a 16 gigabyte version of the RTX 3070 Ti. There's just a lot of various different things that could be announced during this event as well as some more entry level GPUs as well. So if you are excited to see some of these new GPUs out, make sure that you are subscribed because I am going to be trying to live stream this when it does go live on January 4th at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time like they mentioned. But you might be asking the question, why would Nvidia be releasing new GPUs right now when it's so hard to get all the stuff that they're already currently trying to make? It just seems like all these GPUs are just ending up in the hands of miners or they're being sold to you for like two or three times the price so why would they make any more it's not really going to make too much of a difference but actually I might disagree with you a little bit there because I know that's going to be what a lot of people are thinking however there is a chance that them releasing these new cards could allow them to get you even more GPUs than they're currently producing and here's how so there has been some talk that potentially G6 and G6X has been a little bit of a limiting factor when it comes to making more GPUs as it's hard to get enough of that silicon into the cards. However, if they do go ahead and produce these new GPUs with some of them shipping with the 16 gigabit versions of the G6X and some of them shipping with 8 gigabit versions that will allow them to diversify their SKUs and it could slightly allow them to increase the amount of supply that's available for gamers. Now, is this going to have a massive impact? That's hard to say. Honestly, I wouldn't be too surprised if like something like 10 or 15% more GPUs are able to be created because they do something like this. But if you're expecting them to double or triple the amount of GPUs available, just because they have new versions of memory that they can use, that's probably not going to be the case. So that's the first reason as to why I believe they would be producing these cards is because it could technically allow them to produce at least a little bit more than what they currently are capable of doing. Now, the second reason as to why I believe they are going to be rolling out new GPUs in the near future here, and I do believe they are going to be at the very least announcing the 3090 Ti and probably some other cards as well during this CES event is because, well, honestly, they're probably going to want to try and raise the MSRP on the cards that they're currently selling. So the RTX 3080, them selling the Founders Edition for 700 US dollars when people are buying it on eBay for 2000 US dollars really doesn't make a whole lot of sense for Nvidia as a company. Obviously, we'd like it if it was $700 or even cheaper, but I, that's just not going to be a reality. And so I think Nvidia is looking at this whole situation and they're like, well, people want more, uh, you know, VRAM on the RTX 3080. We can't make enough of the RTX 3080. The RTX 3080 apparently is too cheap considering that it's going for $2000 on eBay uh, for the non-LHR and I think around $1,400 for the LHR variant. So we might as well go ahead and make an LHR variant and try and increase the MSRP and also give you more VRAM. So that way some gamers who are looking for more VRAM are going to be happy and we're going to be making more money because they're probably going to raise the price to $800 or even $900 US dollars so that there is some sort of option out there that's between the 3080 and 3080 Ti. I think they're just going to try and push the envelope and see how much money they can get for essentially what is just an RTX 3080 with slightly more VRAM and just push it as far as they can without pissing people off too much. So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. Ultimately, I think this is just kind of a pro NVIDIA move, although I know that some people are definitely going to be happy with the more VRAM as well as slightly higher inventory that might be available when they launch these cards. But you know what? 
either way, the RTX 3090 Ti does look interesting as well because, hey, it's going to be the new fastest GPU on the market. But now we have to talk about this new exciting feature the AMD is going to be releasing. And guys, this looks absolutely incredible. This is going to be an absolute game changer. We're talking about Radeon Super Resolution. So this was also leaked online by uh, videocards.com. And by the way, I will have all my sources linked in the description as always. So you can go ahead and read the whole article. But according to videocards.com, quote, according to our information, Radeon Super Resolution is based on FSR 1.0 algorithm and will work through the Radeon software driver. The technology will therefore overcome the biggest issue of proprietary super resolution technologies, which is the requirement to be implemented in a specific place in the graphics pipeline. They then go on to say, in other words, Radeon Super Resolution will not require game developer support, but will work independently through a Radeon driver. Then later on, they also say, quote, AMD Radeon Super Resolution will be released in January 2022. It will be supported by RDNA 1 and RDNA 2 architectures, RX 5000 and newer. Now, hopefully this technology does end up making its way to more cards so people who are using Nvidia cards or older AMD cards can also use this as well because what this sounds like to me is basically what everyone's hoping FSR 1.0 would end up being where yes it might not be technically as good looking as DLSS however it's going to be a serious competitor because DLSS has to have some sort of work between Nvidia or someone who's working on the game to get it up and running however it sounds like this ready on super resolution for the majority of games you'll be able to basically just toggle an option and boom you're getting more performance and the image quality as long as you're running at a higher resolution isn't really going to take too much of a hit and I think this is going to be especially important for people who are trying to play on like 4k or maybe even 1440p displays those higher resolutions because it's going to allow you to get a just small decrease in the amount of visual fidelity however you could potentially be getting a very large increase in the amount of performance and again if this is just you like pressing a button in the driver that's absolutely incredible and this is something that we've all been waiting for for a really long time or at least I know that I've been waiting for for a really long time because when DLSS first came out I was like yeah this is really impressive but if it's going to require a game by game type of implementation this is not going to really end up cutting it in the long run and I think something else is going to end up superseding it so I think RSR is the first step into creating this new you know AI technology that could really overtake everything because when it's just you press one button and it just works in most of your games that is really impressive and that could lead to a lot of gamers especially with older cards getting a lot more life out of their cards a lot more performance out of their cards and honestly this is just good for gamers as a whole but hey that's just what i think are you excited for nvidia's new release let me know your guys's thoughts in the comments below and of course i'll see you in the next video if you made it to the end of the video be sure to drop a like every time you do so amd and nvidia get more stock also if you want to see more click here you won't be disappointed